Shireen, alongside her mother, is present when Nance Raider is executed by Stannis Baratheon for refusing to bend the knee. While her mother looks pleased, Shireen is horrified and closes her eyes when Nance starts to burn. Since Gilly is illiterate, Shireen begins to teach her letters with Samuel Tarly, Shireen's maternal second cousin, watching the two. Shireen also tells the two of them how she contracted grayscale when she was little and survived. Gilly and Sam leave when Shireen's mother enters and begins to scold her about fraternizing with a wildling girl. Shireen tries to defend Gilly, but Celis criticizes her for being naive despite all the knowledge she has gained from her books. Shireen watches Jon Snow spar with new recruits in the courtyard of Castle Black. Later, she visits her father in his chambers. Stannis asks his daughter if she is lonely, but Shireen is simply bored. He knows that Castle Black is not a place for a child, but Shireen is glad to be there since she believed that she would be left behind at Dragonstone, as he mother had wished her to be. Finally, Shireen asks her father if he is ashamed of her. The question surprises Stannis, but he responds by telling Shireen the story of how she contracted grayscale from a doll he bought from a Dornish merchant. She snuggled with the doll in her crib, putting the left side of her face on it. Although he was counseled to send her to the ruins of Valyria to live out her short life with the stone men, Stannis refused and called every maester, apothecary, and healer he could find to save his daughter's life. Overjoyed, Shireen embraces her father and he returns the embrace. When Stannis and his army leave Castle Black for Winterfell, he takes Shireen and Selys with him, not wanting them in the company of the Night's Watch, due to many of them being criminals and rapists. As they depart, Shireen tells Davos that she wants to see the crypt of Winterfell where all the old kings of the north are buried, to which Davos replies that they must first take the castle. Shireen asks him if there is going to be a battle, and he affirms that she won't be anywhere near it. Selys approaches them and commands Davos to stop speaking of battles and scaring the child. Shireen claims that she is unafraid, and promises to protect him. During the march the weather turns for the worse and a snowstorm delays Stannis' army. Melisandre reminds Stannis that they may need to sacrifice more king's blood in order to better their chances of winning the upcoming battle in the snow which they both saw in the flames, citing the deaths of Robb Stark and Joffrey as examples. When Stannis says that they have no chance of locating Gendry, Melisandre suggests that they sacrifice Shireen. Stannis is visibly repulsed by the suggestion, asking her if she has lost her mind. She tries to convince him but he rebuffs her and orders her to leave his presence. Things get worse for Stannis and his army when Ramsay, along with twenty other Bolton soldiers, sneak in and destroy the food tents and kill some of the horses. The desperate nature of Stannis' position suddenly becomes clear. Before Davos is sent away to the wall to retrieve more supplies and men, the Onion Knight visits Shireen in her tent and presents her with a beautifully carved stag. Grateful of his gift, Shireen thanks Davos and sends him off with a heartfelt goodbye. Stannis later visits Shireen and the two discuss the events that unfolded between Rhaenyra Targaryen and her brother Aegon during the Dance of the Dragons. Stannis tells her if a man knows what he is and remains true to his self that he must fulfill his destiny no matter how much he hates it. Shireen, being the loving daughter she is, expresses to him that she wants to help and will do whatever she can to help her father, without knowing his true intentions. As Shireen lovingly embraces her father, Stannis asks his daughter for her forgiveness. Later on Shireen is escorted and tied to a pyre where she is sacrificed to the Lord of Light by Melisandre, who does so without remorse. As she burns she pleads for her mother and father to help her. Selys runs to her daughter's aid, but is held back by Baratheon soldiers, and crumples to the ground as she watches her daughter die in the flames and Stannis looking away with tears in his eyes. Shireen's sacrifice allows her father's army to press forwards as the blood magic appears to have been successful in melting the snows. However, the horror of a little girl's sacrifice has led hundreds of Baratheon troops and all his sellswords, about half his army, to desert, while Selys hangs herself, and Melisandre flees after hearing the news. Stannis nevertheless presses forward to Winterfell but his army is easily defeated by the Boltons. Stannis is later killed by a vengeful Brienne of Tarth, his spirit broken by defeat and the needless sacrifice that was far too dear. John and Davos later learn of Shireen's death when Melisandre returns to Castle Black, although she withholds the specific details, including the role that she herself and Stannis played in it. 